Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you some issues that I'm having with my GT18 Hydro. So here's what's going on. Um, when I first got it, it had a new battery in it, good charge, everything was great, and it always cranked over really fast. And it continued to do that for the first, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half months that I had it. Um, but then, about a week ago, it started to turn over really slow, so I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's got a dead battery. So I took the battery out, put it on the charger for three or four hours, put it back in, cranked over really fast, and everything was fine. And then, I went to start it the next day, and it was cranking over really slow. So I figure, you know, maybe there's a loose connection to the starter, and not all the juice is getting to it. So I took the nut off the starter, and cleaned it, wire brushed it, hit it with electrical cleaner, and put it back on. And when I did that, nothing, it did, didn't crank over at all. So, I was checking the wiring, and uh, one of these fuses, one is a 30, one's a 15, I had been, I'd blown 30 amp fuse. And in order to blow a 30 amp fuse, you basically need to have a direct crossover where you have a positive wire that's grounding when it shouldn't be. And now the wire that this fuse is, is on, one end is on the solenoid and one end goes to the ignition. On the solenoid you have your thick gauge wire from the positive of the battery going to this terminal on the solenoid. On that same terminal is this thinner wire which is what has the fuse in it, and this is the one that keeps blowing. So now I need to figure out why that wire is grounding or doing something that it shouldn't, and why it's causing the fuse to blow. I'm not sure if I need to replace the ignition switch, if I need to replace the solenoid, if I need to replace the wire or something, but this fuse keeps popping. Um, now the other thing, is that the way the hour meter works right here is that when see the little little white hand right there, that's your second hand. When you turn the key over and everything is set up properly, that second hand makes a complete revolution. And uh, and that wasn't turning over at all when I turned the key. Now there's two circuits in this electrical system, which is why there's the two fuses. You have the 30 amp, which is your starting um, starting circuit. So that goes positive from the battery, solenoid, ignition. And on the other hand, you have your hot wire that goes to the starter, which is this thick wire right there. The other circuit, which is the 15 amp fuse circuit, uh, is what powers, gives power to your um, light switch, uh, electric linear actuator hitch if you have one on the back and also the hour meter which is down there and that is fine at least from what I can tell um, but it's the starting circuit that's giving me problems so I gotta keep looking at some wiring diagrams and talking to some people see what's going on with that needless to say I'm bummed out a little bit because this thing runs and mows and drives so good you know, I was planning on using it for mowing this weekend, but until I figure out what's going on, that's not going to happen. So that's what's going on with that. And uh, if you guys can give me any uh, any ideas as to what you think might be going on, um, basically my main question is why would there be enough juice going through this thin little wire? to pop a 30 amp fuse and what would cause it to do that. So you guys let me know, I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to be asking around on the tractor forum and uh, calling some friends of mine who are technicians and electricians and whatever and uh, seeing if I can get that get that all fixed. Um, but anything, anything you guys can do to help would be much appreciated. So uh, leave a comment or send me a message or something um, and I'd really appreciate it. So. Uh, Hopefully, I'll have this little issue fixed uh, 
in a couple days or something. Um, and when I do, I'll get a video put up of it. So, till then.